Hello everyone, it's Silly Simux and here we are doing the speed build for the um, Sim Caprio house. Uh, this house is uh, quite big and I kind of I think it's um, really modern and it's going really to suit the family. Uh, I think, I guess, I hope. I really like the house, I hope that everyone likes it as well. Um, this speed build is the first one on this channel so it's going to be quite slow. In the future, I'm not going to do uh, such a slow uh, speed build, they're going to be much faster. Uh, so, um, making it, um, I'm just making it double speed. And yeah, we are, we are going to really enjoy all the details in the speed build. But in the future, they're not going to be um, this slow. Uh, so, don't worry if you think it's uh, too slow for you. It's going to be just this one, it's just because it's our first build and I want to get really into the details of uh, the thought process. This is the actual um, general shape of the house, I'm going to change it up here and there, uh, adding another room and changing up some rooms to make the house not look like a brick, because it's quite, actually quite um, rectangular shaped, since it's I wanted to make a modern house, so yeah, it's going to be quite there. Uh, yeah, so here I'm adding the roof. I think that the roofing is quite good on the ha on this house. I really like it. I'm going to use oh that roof was hard to get. Um, I'm going to use this angle roof technique and changing things up here and there. Yeah, I'm making the entrance a bit larger not only because the roof would fit better on the actual room but also yeah as you can see all the different direct direction of roofs and yeah um i changed the entrance not only because uh, the roof would fit better but also because um the door i wanted to use was double here it is going to be the balcony which is not going to be this small in the end. We're going to add another room next to that one. So yeah, I'm changing this thing as up. I move that, uh, um, yeah, there, yeah, good. Um, so I'm working around with the windows. I wanted to, yeah, I'm using this tall, tall, tall window from Get Together that I really love because of the shadows they cast, as you can see be behind. I think it looks amazing thanks to the new lighting system and it really really gives a special feature to the house. Here I'm adding the new room as I told you just to make the house complete because I wanted a studio as well and I had not room prepared for the studio. Uh, here I'm uh, using some objects, random they're not going to be the, the actual objects um, just to um, remember what room is what, which room is which, yeah. And here are the bedrooms upstairs, uh, and a bathroom for the master bedroom, yeah. And that room in the middle, the, where I did not put anything, I don't. I, at first I didn't know what to do with that, if I wanted like a second living room, and the end is going to be something else, so stay tuned and watch the other videos or the other parts to uh, discover what is going to be. Yeah, uh, just a sofa to remember that that's a living room. And now I think I'm going for the outside look. Yeah, I'm, ch is, I'm searching for a color and I cannot find one that I really really like. All the colors are uh, too strange because I didn't want to use like strange stuff, I wanted just paint and I don't know they look kind of rough in the end I actually find a color that I like which is not this one and it's not going to be the one that you'll see for half the video I'm going to change it like through the second half of the video I think um, also if you think if you hear someone hammering it's my neighbor that I don't know what he's doing, but it's fine, fine, yeah, here I'm changing the color for, to a darker color, 
and I think I leave this color for a bit on the house it is not going to be the final color um, the trim of the roof and the roofs itself yeah no, they're going to be that roof I think yeah I'm quite sure um, yeah so this is the general shape of the house and I think I'm going to add some windows uh, yeah these black windows big windows I love them they came with uh, back to get together and I think they look really they look really really cool with the horizontal stripes just adding some big windows in the room that I don't know what is going to be some room some random windows oh yeah there I changed the windows with the glass door that glass door uh, because I wanted to no that glass door I don't know no, I think it's uh, yeah and just because I wanted the studio to have the door for the outside so they could get, they could get outside if they wanted to I'm going to do a little um, garden 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 behind yeah uh, double windows in the corner of the bathroom I usually do not do double uh, windows in the corner or windows in a corner in general I think they look stupid but in this case the window makes the actual house looks better I don't know for maybe it's just me I really like them there and what am I doing now oh yeah I'm choosing a um, column for the uh, uh, this wall and I set for this big column that makes the house look more sturdy I really like it and yeah what am I doing now though I'm just looking around the house what am I doing? Okay, probably going for the upstairs, yeah, with the windows. And for the upstairs, I had a problem. These windows could not fit because the uh, wall upstairs were not as tall. So I had to search for other windows. And all the other windows would not match. No, there are no shorter version of those beautiful glassy kindly window I don't know what, how to describe them the windows that are in the um, first floor and I had to settle for these but I thought why I have to settle for stuff when I can uh, delete everything and change the wall to the tallness of the walls the wallness <laughs> Yeah, I make the tall, the wall taller, higher, whatever you want to say. And yeah, I'm going, I'm going with these windows that I love. And uh, yeah, changing some windows up. That side is really, it's full of window, but I like it. And yeah, another rule for the outside. This is from the master bedroom. You can go on the balcony, so that uh, the parents can go outside if they want to without going downstairs just outside sitting I think I am going to in the, the other parts uh, add some seating outside on this balcony that I just made larger because I thought what the hell why wouldn't they have a full-size balcony when they have this the space the actual space to do that so yeah I did it and I wanted to use this glass uh, kind of a fence but uh, I think it's more for a pool so in the end I change it up uh, this glass really doesn't suit the house I think so I'm going for another wooden fence yeah and I wanted to do some columns so I went for that column but the problem is they don't match up with the color on the other floor I hate that. Look, look, they do not match up. How am I supposed to work with this? So I take them off, but they still look fucking disgusting. Look, look how the disgusting all the columns look. How am I supposed to do? Look, they don't match up and they do not work. I had to add a trim there, yeah, to make it look like something. Ah, <sighs> the struggle. Yeah, I'm adding the roof to this balcony, another um, roof like the others, yeah, nothing different, just different direction, direction, one direction, direction, yeah. 
uh, making the everything fit together, making it a little bit shorter, and that's it. And I realized there are no windows on the front, so I'm adding a couple of windows there, but there they could not fit, so I had to add in move objects. And that's fine, I guess. Move objects is not a problem. If you think uh, that I can live without move objects, you're wrong because it's the best thing ever created. And yeah, I'm changing the color up <laughs> again. Uh, I, as I said, I did not like that dark, dark color, so I'm going for something lighter. And this is not going to be the final color though, but it's okay. You can live through every single different color that I chose and never used. As you can see, going for another color, didn't like this one at all, so going for another color. Changing these up like this. No, it doesn't look right, and so what else? I think it's something similar to this yellow, but it's not this one. I'm quite sure. Yeah. I think it's this one. This one is probably the last color, um, the actual final color of the house. Uh, yeah, I think it really, really looks nice with the, the darker uh, floor and the lighters. The layer, blah, 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 blah. And I'm adding the door for the entrance. Uh, yeah, I really like this door for the entrance. So um, we. Uh, what 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 am I going to do? Oh yeah, we are changing up the room, the rooms, two rooms, not the kitchen, but the other two. Uh, I decided to make the house looks dif look different, um, a little bit more shaped, because I didn't like the fact that it looked like a brick. So yeah, and changing those, adding some roof edge to those, um, changing things up here and there. But I think this is going to be it for this part. Uh, check out the, uh, my channel for more the other two parts since it's a three part build and uh, thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed leave a like uh, and leave a comment uh, with suggestion on the ha this house and uh, yeah subscribe and thank you so much so this is the house actually finished thank you and bye